President Trump is trying to take the focus away from Democrats just three days ahead of the Iowa caucuses. He rallied supporters last night, making sure to slam the impeachment trial and attack the Democratic candidates. The president won Iowa in 2016 against Hillary Clinton. CBS News political correspondent Ed O'Keefe is in Des Moines with more. With three days to go until the Iowa caucus, voters here still remain undecided. And that impeachment trial, of course, is complicating things. For one thing, some of the candidates aren't able to be here and may not be able to get back until Sunday at the earliest. The subject of that impeachment trial, President Trump, showed up here last night himself looking for votes. Who knock on doors. For the past year, Iowa has been home to mostly Democratic presidential candidates, but last night the man they want to beat showed up too. During this campaign season, the good people of Iowa have had a front row seat to the lunacy and the madness of the totally sick left. Ahead of Mr. Trump's arrival, Joe Biden called him out, saying the president lacks the moral character for the job. He's more bully than president, and he's having an incredibly corrosive effect on our nation. With the senators running for president stuck in Washington for the impeachment trial, the state has been left to the non-senators like Biden and former Mayor Pete Buttigieg, who's trying to elbow his way into the spotlight by directly targeting the candidates at the top. I hear Vice President Biden saying that this is no time to take a risk on someone new. And then I hear Senator Sanders calling for a kind of politics that says you've got to go all the way here and nothing else counts. When asked about Buttigieg's attack, Biden swung back, saying he's had more voter support than the small city mayor. Look, look you guys have seen Pete. He's a good guy. You've seen Bernie. You've seen me. You know, I mean, some things just self-evident contrast. You know, I've got more than 8,600 votes in my life. One fresh development today here in Iowa. The candidate who's actually been running the longest is now out of the race. John Delaney launched his upstart presidential bid back in 2017. But the former congressman from Maryland just Friday morning announced he's dropping out of the race, now realizing he's got no chance. Anne Marie and Vlad. Ed, thank you. CBSN political reporter Caitlin Huey Burns is joining us now from Iowa with more on how things are going down there. Uh, Caitlin, let's start with some of the breaking news that John Delaney has announced that he'll be drop dropping out of the race. I mean, I don't know if this is really going to impact the Iowa caucuses because I don't think he was really making a big splash, but you tell me. <laughs> No, I don't think it's going to have any impact at all. The former congressman from Maryland dropped out of the race today, which is, you know, it's interesting that he didn't try to see it through, considering that he has spent all of his time here in Iowa for the past two years. Uh, but it was very apparent, apparent many, many months ago that uh, his candidacy really wasn't going anywhere. Uh, and so his departure from the race today isn't surprising, but it does come, uh, it is notable because he has been in the race the longest. Uh, all of these candidates, though, are expected to be in Iowa at some point over the weekend. Those senators from Washington trying to get back here as quickly as possible. Joe Biden and Pete Buttigieg, of course, have been all over the state uh, trying to talk to as many voters as possible. Uh, so let's talk about uh, Mayor Pete Buttigieg. He is now calling out Joe Biden and Senator Bernie Sanders by name during his campaign events. What's behind this shift, Caitlin? Right. This is a candidate who has been talking about unity and bringing the party together. But now in the final days, in the final stretch before those Iowa caucuses, he is really sharpening the knives against the opponents that he sees as his top rivals here in Iowa, going after Biden and uh, going after Sanders. We've seen him over the past couple of days really lay into Sanders and try to speak to that sentiment uh, among the Democratic establishment figures that there is this concern about Bernie Sanders' candidacy and whether he can win. Um, uh, but going after Biden is something really new that we've seen uh, from Buttigieg over the past 24 hours or so. And what he's trying to do here is really try to capture some of the support that Biden has. They're running, uh, you know, both as kind of more moderate figures in this party. Um, the difference that Buttigieg wants to draw is a generational difference. And he's been trying over the past several days to distance himself from Washington. It was really interesting to hear him in a town hall the other day uh, talk about how People are kind of exhausted, he said, by watching the impeachment hearings, by watching the divisiveness in Washington. So he's trying to distance himself from that. We'll see if it works. He's slid in a few polls, but uh, we're having some more polling coming out tomorrow night that a lot of people will be watching. And he has been all over the state really trying to uh, ramp up his support. 
So the president was also in Iowa. What was he trying to accomplish by rallying just days before the caucus? Uh, and he's sort of done this before whenever there's a, you know, when there's a debate, he usually has some sort of a rally on the same night. But yeah. how are Democrats in the state responding? Yeah, this is a president that loves counter-programming. As you've noted, we've seen it a lot before. Uh, this was a chance for him to come into Iowa uh, at a time where many of the top Democratic candidates had to be in Washington. So that was a little bit of a twist on that scenario. But I was outside the Trump rally last night. People were, uh, there was a huge overflow crowd. It was about 30 degrees. My uh, hands are still thawing out from being outside there. Uh, there was a lot of energy for him in that uh, room and in outside side of it last night. And he was trying to say um, to Iowans that, uh, you know, he's trying to paint Democrats as socialists, trying to paint them with a really broad brush uh, and trying to speak to Iowans and say, you have no choice, is what he said to them, uh, to vote for me. Uh, it was also interesting to hear him talk about impeachment, uh, saying that this was impeachment light. Uh, and it's something that I've been talking to uh, voters here in Iowa about over the past few days. You and I have talked about how voters here aren't really asking about impeachment. They're asking about health care and the economy instead, but they're definitely paying attention to the hearings. And I've been talking to voters about whether they're concerned or worried about the president being exonerated by the Senate and whether that might embolden the president's reelection campaign and his supporters. And I talked to voters at Joe Biden's event yesterday who said, yes, they were concerned uh, that the president would really be amplifying the headline that is soon to come out of those impeachment hearings that he had been exonerated by the Senate. All right, All right, Caitlin, thank you.